All right, welcome everybody to this Java project. We're going to build a soda machine. Um, this is one example of a soda machine that contains different bottles or cans. And if this project is meant to teach you how to work with 2D arrays, where our last episode in Dice Poker taught us how to work with 1D arrays, and with 2D arrays, you're also going to need nested loops instead of just one loop, you'll have one loop nested inside of the other. So let's talk about the internal structure of the soda machine. Um, if you look inside, you'll see that it is made up of a number of rows of cans. And um, each can then is, can be considered an object. And those cans can be d different um, flavors. For instance, they might be Mountain Dew or some other um, Pepsi product like 7-Up. Uh, you could also alter this to be a Coke machine instead of a Sprite machine or maybe a water one that serves mineral water. So you can see that not only is this machine made up of single arrays of soda objects but that there are many arrays in a um, in a soda machine. So we need this is actually a 2D array because not only do we have columns of sodas, but we also have goes across different brands or different kind flavors of soda. Okay. So let's get started and build a soda can um, first because that's the simplest object. So we'll say public class soda and then we need a place for our fields our constructor and our assessors and mutators and our methods other methods including calculations and eventually our two string okay so if we think about some traits of a soda, um, it might have a constant of what company it belongs to. So we'll say private, static, final, string company. And it's typical that we name constant constants in um, all caps. And then we'll set it to Pepsi. And the final means that it's not going to change throughout the program. And the static means that when we create multiple cans to fill our soda machine, we're not going to create 50 or so of memory spaces to hold the company name. It'll just refer back to the first instance of that memory address when the first soda object is created. And so that's the use of static. Um, we're going to also need a variable for the brand which or the name so we'll say private string brand and we'll worry about setting it later and we'll also need to know the size of the can so private int ounces And then you can do other things like you might have an abbreviation. You could use a char for whether it's an aluminum, glass, or plastic container. So we'll do private char container. Let's put some comments in. So container type could be plastic, aluminum, glass ounces would be the size of the cans um, they might be in um, 8 12 16 or 32 the brands are the types of Pepsi products so you could also use it as product name might be a another variable name. Um, so 7-Up 
Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, uh, Seven Up, etc. Okay, and then this is company name. Um, you might also say whether it's recyclable or not. So we could do a boolean for recyclable. So and so you can think of many different variable types to practice with using a simple soda object. And we'll just assume that it's true for right now. That will be our default. And you could also have an array list of the ingredients that go in each can. It's because someone might want to know what is actually in the product that might print out on a screen on your soda machine. So we have a lot of different things we can deal with. Uh, we will need a default constructor of just a regular type of can. So we'll say public soda. And we won't require any parameters in our default constructor. And then let's say we need just one with the name or the brand. So we'll pass in string for BN for brand name. And then we'll set that constructor to brand is equal to BN. That allows us to pass in the brand name of the soda, like 7up, or um, maybe it's a mineral water product. And then maybe we want another constructor that deals with more types. So we'll say public soda, and we'll pass in the brand name, and um, whether it's, we'll do the ounces. And maybe whether it's recyclable or not. So we'll say, um, or maybe the container type. So um, char CT for container type. And then we'll need to be able to set each of those. So we'll say brand is equal to BN. And ounces is equal to OZ. And container, I believe we called it. Yes. Is equal to CT. And you can add other attributes if you wish in different types of constructors. Okay, so then we need um, assessors and mutators for any of the methods that we want. So we'll say public string get company, and we'll return the company name, public string set. And since it's a, we don't set the company name because it's a constant, so we'll skip the setter for that. So let's do get brand name. We'll return brand. Do public string set. And that's typically, you could make that a constant since likely the brand name is not going to change for a particular product. However, the types of um, sodas in the machine might change. So let's go ahead and make a setter for that. So we'll say set brand name. And then we'll pass in string bn, our local variable. We'll say brand is equal to bn. And then we'll do ounces, so public and ounces, so let's say get ounces, 
and we'll return ounces. And we spelled public wrong. And then we'll set that be able to set the ounces of our cans. So um, int our void. In fact, our setters have to be void. So this one needs to be void. And this one needs to be void. Set ounces. And then we'll do int oz and set ounces to oz. And then our next attribute was the container type, so public string get container return container and public void set container type and we'll pass in char ct set container equal to ct and then the last one we can do is recyclable or not so we'll say public boolean get recyclable in public void set Recyclable. So we'll pass in um, recyclable is equal to RC. Oops. We need to do Boolean RC and then set recyclable to RC. Set RC to recyclable. And I would have at least one constructor up here that has all the attributes. But I will leave, go ahead and leave that for you to fill in. You can do it based on the other ones that we've done. OK, so let's go ahead and save for right now. And I'm going to make a folder for this. Alright, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll finish our soda can. See you next time.